There's been discussion in the public sphere about the importance and significance of outdoor art, but what about the outdoor art on our campus? We went to talk to department head Matt Greenwell about the state of UTC's outdoor art. Yes, well we don't have a lot currently, um, which I think is part of the point of, the, of, of your interest in this story. Um, we have uh, a couple of pieces here right around the Fine Arts Center, uh, which over time have been gifted and dedicated or in some cases purchased. We also talked with Ruth Grover about what goes into choosing a piece of outdoor art. Uh, I think it's, it's uh, really important. Of course, the number one um, aspect, I suppose, when people think about public art is um, that it uh, serves to beautify a campus. But then, uh, you know, it becomes much, much more than that. Um, uh, with uh, public sculpture, uh, um, outdoor sculpture, I think, um, pieces um, become a sort of a marker on the architectural landscape different than a building, um, but um, over time can take on a particular meaning, especially if it's chosen uh, well for the site it, it occupies, and for the um, audience that's situated near that site that, that a piece can take on, um, meaning not even intended by the artist becomes a marker, a meeting place, um, a, uh, you know, a place of thought and contemplation, and, and I think, for some choosing public art, you do want to choose pieces that have some relationship to the audience, the, the people who work and live nearby. But also, I think it's important to choose work that also enlarges existence and uh, maybe um, you know, uh, in, enlarges thought and perspective. 